Our next topic will be an analysis of the different shapes that alkane molecules occupy. In order for us to be able to talk about the different shapes of alkane molecules, we first need to learn a new way to draw molecules. And that new method that we're going to learn is called the Newman projection. The Newman projection is a method of drawing a molecule to illustrate or to show a specific conformation. Conformation is another way of saying shape. So this isn't talking about isomers, um, uh, constitutional isomers, for example. This is talking about a molecule just freely twisting or bending or rotating into a variety of different shapes. And so to show you how to draw a Newman projection, I have this very simple molecule here, ethane. It has two carbon atoms and it has six hydrogen atoms. And I've specifically drawn each one of these hydrogen atoms with a different color. Now, before we get into converting this into a Newman projection, I want to briefly remind you about the differences between the straight line bonds and the wedge bonds and the dash bonds. These three different types of bonds are all being used to illustrate a direction with respect to your writing surface, like the plane of, of your paper, or maybe the plane of the screen that you're watching this video on. And it might be really handy for you right now to grab a model kit and start building, like actually in your hands, building one of these models. So if you recall from when we've talked about that in this in the past, straight line bonds are indicating or the straight line is used to indicate that the bond and the atoms that are connected by that bond are parallel to the surface of your paper or they're parallel to the screen that you're watching the video on. They're flat within that surface. The wedge bonds are used to indicate that that bond and the atom that is connecting to the wedge are sticking out at you. So they're coming at you in, in the direction that you are. And then the dash and the atom that is attached with the dash, those are indicating that the atom is going into the paper or into your computer screen. I have a... Um, website that I'm going to show you. This is a website that you can use. It's free. It's called moleview.org and it allows you to build models and you have the option to look at them three-dimensionally, which is what I'm showing right here. Now, I don't have as many color options on moleview as I do on that notepad, but I've used four different colors here trying to represent that ethane molecule. So the two gray spheres that are side by side, those are representing carbon atoms. And then these red spheres down up, up at the bottom and down up at the top and down at the bottom, these are used to indicate atoms that are parallel to the plane of the paper. So I'm rotating it side to side to try to illustrate to you that the red atoms, as well as the gray atoms, they're all in a line and when I'm holding this in the right direction, they are parallel to the plane of the computer screen or your paper. The two white atoms, one on each of the gray carbon atoms, these white atoms are sticking up at you. So if I rotate this a little bit, hopefully you can see right now I'm focusing on the white atom that is on the right side. And you can see that that white atom is sticking up at you. And now let's try to focus on the white atom on the left. If I rotate a little bit, you can see that that white atom is sticking up at you or out of your computer monitor. And then last but not least, we have these two gray sphere or green spheres. These are, these would be our wedge bonds. So the green spheres are back behind sticking into the computer screen. So they are back behind 
the gray spheres directionally. And like I said, I think it's very helpful right now if you can get out your model kit and actually build these models for yourself or go to, go to moleview.org and build some models um, on moleview and play with it. So when we are looking at a three-dimensional molecule, such as this one right here, there are times when we want to draw this molecule using different notation. And that one method would be drawing it in the Newman projection. In the Newman projection, all that we are doing is changing our viewing perspective of the molecule. So instead of looking at it head on, the way that we're looking at it right now, looking at it this way, we look at the molecule from the side. The phrase that a lot of chemists will use is sight down, sight like S-I-G-H-T, with your eyes, take a sight, take a look, look down the carbon-carbon bond looking from the side of the molecule. Now, if you're look, you could be looking from the left or you could be looking from the right. It doesn't really matter which direction that you look. And let's go back to mole view and let's look again at what that means to sight down the carbon-carbon bond. So if you're building a model in your hands, what you're going to do is just simply turn that model so that the two carbon atoms are no longer parallel to the paper or parallel to the computer screen anymore. Now we want to be looking directly down the carbon-carbon bond. So we're turning the molecule this way so that we can look down the carbon-carbon bond. And notice that I have arranged this so that the carbon atoms are stacking one directly on top of each other, like this. This is the perspective or the angle that we want to view the molecule when we're drawing a Newman projection, this particular angle right here. So let's go back to our screen and what we're, or our notes, and what we're going to do is attempt to draw that rainbowy molecule from a Newman perspective, sighting down the side. So when we're doing this, and we've chosen, I've chosen that we're gonna look at the molecule from left to right, which means that this carbon and its hydrogens are gonna be on the top of our viewing perspective. So we're gonna have a carbon that is gonna be right up front. And instead of drawing a C for that front carbon right here, we represent that front carbon with just a single dot. When we're looking at this front carbon from the side, and again, this is a time when having a model kit is gonna be very handy. This hydrogen atom right here is now sticking straight up like this. And the hydrogen atom that is on a wedge, when we sight from the side, that hydrogen atom has moved from our perspective so that it is pointing to the right. And our other hydrogen atom, the one that is on the dash, when we're looking at it from this perspective, this hydrogen atom is now pointing to the left. So that is the front carbon and the three things that are attached to that front carbon. Now let's draw the back carbon and its three things. The back carbon is, as we saw from the mole view thing, the back carbon is stacked literally behind this carbon. In order for us to be able to represent it at all in a Newman projection, what we do is represent it with a circle that is just larger than the dot. And I'm gonna make a note when we're done with this drawing, I'm gonna make a note to remind you about the circle versus the dot. So when we're looking at this back carbon, the first thing that we wanna notice is the hydrogen, the orange hydrogen that was on the straight line bond. It is now down. And notice that when I drew that hydrogen in, I drew it attached to the back carbon. I did not connect it to the front carbon dot. I connected it to the back carbon. And our uh, yellow hydrogen, when we're sighting from this perspective, our yellow hydrogen is sticking up and it is going to be sticking up and at the right. 
And then last but not least, our green hydrogen is sticking up and it is going to the left. And again, if you're doing this, if you're attempting to do this without a model kit, it's gonna be really overwhelming. So I really, I feel like I've said it about five times now, you should really be doing this with a model kit. So this right here is the Newman projection for this particular molecule. And there's a couple things that I want you to notice about this Newman projection. Notice that the two wedge bonds, the purple and the yellow hydrogens, notice that they ended up side by side in our Newman projection. That's not a coincidence. Also, same thing with our red and green hydrogens that were on dashes notice that they ended up side by side as well. And our two straight line hydrogens, the uh, blue and orange, notice that they ended up 180 degrees apart from each other in this final drawing. So these are all gonna be characteristics that we keep coming back to when we're uh, drawing Newman projections and analyzing Newman projections. So let's last, last thing we're gonna do here is make a note that the small dot we use to represent the front carbon. Front meaning from our viewing perspective. That is this little dot right there. And then the circle is used to represent the back carbon, back from, with respect to our viewing perspective, the back carbon. And so this is kind of a quick and dirty how we convert wedge dash notation into Newman projection. Next up, we're going to do several examples of this.